All right, well, welcome back, everyone. This is Charlie from The Speed Traveler, and we're taking some of the cars from our inventory, uh, our sister company, Hollywood Show Cars, and The Speed Traveler. We've got some cool cars. This is a 1976 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And, uh, oh my God, look at the size of this car. I mean, it is a 20-foot long, nearly 20-foot long two-door coupe with a 500 cubic inch GM motor in the front and a lot of leather, enough for two couches and a trunk big enough to hide probably three bodies. So we're gonna take a closer look. I'm gonna jump in and drive it, but uh, just something you never see these days. What a beautiful car. This one only has 20,000 original miles on it. So let's take a closer look. All right, we're gonna take a closer look under the hood of this 76 Caddy and Good Lord, look at the size of that hood. It's literally eight feet long. But uh, there you have it. GM, in this case, used a 500 cubic inch motor for the Caddy to power it. It's got loads of torque. It's about 360 pounds of torque. Around 200 horsepower. It was strangled a little because this was 1976, the height of the smog restrictions so but plenty of power but take a look at that pretty amazing hood okay now special treat i'm going to check out the trunk of this car which is also about eight feet long look at that hide a key so you gotta hide the key there i'm doing this one-handed but there we go inside of the trunk. Oh, and there's a car cover in there. Check out that size though. Right, now we're gonna take a look at the inside. Open one of these massive doors on the two-door coupe. Imagine that, 231 inches long, which is almost 20 feet. Look at that red leather. Oh my God, it's like a couch. And you got lots of friends. We got a couch in the back too. Check that out. All right, so now inside, just taking it all in. I mean, it really is like having a couch. So comfortable. It's a 45 year old car and maybe one of the most comfortable cars I've ever driven in my life. We're gonna fire it up now. As I said earlier, this car has 500 cubic inch motor in it, gobs of torque, and it actually drives really well. So these cars were designed by Bill Mitchell. And for those of you who don't know who Bill Mitchell is, he was a prolific designer at General Motors. He designed and had his hand in designing over 73 million cars that came out of General Motors between the late 30s and about the late 70s. He designed the Corvette C2, the Corvette C3, uh, the Buick Regal, and this lovely car. What a difference, right? The C3 Corvette and a 20 foot long Cadillac Coupe de Ville. But I mean, it just floats along. This is a great car. The steering, you know, there's not a whole lot of steering for a driver's feel, but if you're cruising down the highway, I mean, honestly, this is probably one of the best rides I've ever experienced. And there again, in a 45 year old car, it looks fantastic. It's a 20 foot long coupe, two doors. Uh, what a fantastic car. I mean, it's not gonna win any races, but fun to drive. It's got lots of torque. You get a million thumbs up on the way. What a great car. Well, there you have it, 1976 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I can't say I've ever driven anything quite like this. The ride is just unbelievably great. It's nothing like a contemporary car. So if you have a chance, 
drive a 70s Cadillac and you're going to really love it. They made over 100,000 of these Coupe de Vils in 1976. I doubt very many are around today with this type of mileage on them. So what a treat to be able to drive this. Uh, I feel like I should have been wearing a sport coat or something. Like T-shirt and shorts aren't doing this beautiful car justice. But like I said, if you ever have a chance to drive one, I highly recommend it. Thanks for tuning in to The Speed Traveler. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.